season is finally here, which means football parties and food and BSU, Michael. And since our friends at Secura sent us an air fryer, we are going to make some crispy, delicious chicken wings in the air fryer. So let's go spice things up. So the first thing I am doing is I'm cutting my chicken. I just got a big pack of chicken wings from the store that has not been cut yet. It's really simple. Basically, you get a full piece like this and then you can cut them into pieces. This part you will discard, you won't use. You'll only be using these two pieces because um, there's more meat on that. It's really simple to cut them. There's like a little kind of groove right here on both sides. You can fill them and you want to cut right in between both of those, right in between the bones. And um, then you get more chicken for a cheaper price. All right, just like this. And if you're like me, you can actually save this, this part to make chicken broth. All right, so now we're gonna just prepare chicken and I'm actually gonna cook all of this because my family likes to eat a lot. I'm just gonna take the stuff out of the drawer because I just store everything that it comes with. So it comes with this instruction manual and it has a little bit of recipes in there. This with skewers and then you can make little shish kebabs. But anyways, I'm gonna take that out right now because we aren't making shish kebabs. We are gonna preheat this, so we are gonna turn it on 400, and we're just gonna cook it for a little bit just to preheat. Okay, so while the fryer is preheating, we are going to prepare our chicken. We are gonna add our spice. I'm gonna use this rosy cheek from our friends at Fresh Jack's. It is a maple bourbon barbecue spice. So I'm just going to add it to the chicken. Toss it up, add a little more. Now you can use whatever spices you want, but this is what I'm using today. Toss it together again so that the spices get on all the meat. Okay, so now I'm gonna use some baking powder. This is kind of key. This is what makes it crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside. So I'm just gonna put in one fourth cup and then toss it together. Now remember, I have a lot of chicken in here, so you might want to add less of the baking powder. All right, that's looking pretty good. As you can see, it is lightly coated. Once your air fryer has heated up, we are gonna open it up. And if you see, there's a pan inside and we want to spray it with, you can spray it with cooking spray. This is a mister that I got from my sister-in-law. You can put basically whatever oil you want in it. I have olive oil, but you can do cooking spray and you can use whatever oil you want. Anyways, and you want to just spray it. And this is 5.3 liters, so it's decent size. So you'll just want to take your chicken and just lay it on the bottom, but make sure there is space in between so that the air can flow. And that is about all that I'm going to fit in here. All right, so we're going to close it up. Okay, so I'm going to make sure it's on 400 degrees, of course, and I'm going to turn it on for 10 minutes. Okay, so the timer went off and we're going to open it up. And they are looking pretty good. So I'm just going to turn them over on the other side. So we're going to close it back up. And then after you flip them over, you'll want to cook them for another 10 minutes. Okay, so the timer went off. Ooh, look at those. They look nice and crispy. When your chicken is done, you can choose your dipping sauce. I choose barbecue sauce. But you can choose ranch or blue cheese or whatever you want. Mmm. So good. This is definitely the perfect football party recipe. Well, if you'd like to see any more videos, click this link or this link. If you'd like to subscribe, click my face. And remember, I'm always here to help you make beautiful memories through food. Bye, and see you in the next video.